हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू दीक्षा कर्नाटका यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू आर पार्ट ऑफ केसे 2025 बैच देन यू आर वेटिंग फॉर योर फाइनल काउंसलिंग टू स्टार्ट एंड यू आर वंडरिंग व्हाट कोर्स व्हाट टॉपिक आई शुड चूज सो हियर वी आर ट्राइंग टू हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट कोर्सेस एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रोबोटिक्स इंजीनियरिंग नाउ इन रोबोटिक्स इंजीनियरिंग इट इज नॉट अलोन देयर आर टू सेपरेट पार्ट्स मेन पार्ट इज रोबोटिक्स एंड ए आई सो बेसिकली वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रोबोटिक्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल द डिसिप्लिन इंक्लूडिंग इन रोबोटिक्स सो इट इज अ मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी सब्जेक्ट सो इफ यू लाइक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फ्लेवर्स यू आर इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू गेट यूर सेल्फ बोर्ड दिन दिस इज अ वेरी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू टू स्टडी इन रोबोटिक्स नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट अबाउट दिस कोर्स विदाउट मच डिले so first let's look into what is robotics engineering is about robotics engineering is a fascinating and rapidly evolving field that blends multiple branches of engineering and computer science to design build and operate robots so you are not only designing robots you are helping the uh, brain of the robot that is a uh, programming language right so everything has to be done uh, by you so if you are part of robotics engineering maybe in future even if you are not uh doing robotics engineering right now maybe in future in your mtech uh, study or during your job interviews if you are choosing it you have to remember that there are multiple parts in a robotics engineering uh, uh, as a robotics engineer so you have to do a lot of things based on your expertise now let's see what you will do in this course so you will have to perform task that human can't okay so basically you have to think like that that this task is not possible by a human or it is very difficult for human how can i make life of a human easier okay for ex example humans cannot explore mars as of yet right so here you can see th c3po and r2d2 they have traveled across the galaxy uh, which sometimes is not possible for humans right uh, handle repetitive or dangerous jobs okay for example factory uh, works factory related work some uh, works are done by machine which is working on a particular repetitive process for example packaging so if you are drinking something some uh, cold drink you are thinking that all the bottles might, might be packaged by a human actually not it is done by some machine and uh, this is also part of robotics engineering very old technology but still it is happening right so it is happening for almost 30 40 years back when first automatic machine automatic packaging devices were discovered it is actually a part of robotics engineering next is assist humans that is surgical robots prosthetics personal assistants so starting from for example alexa okay alexa is a ai robot right so these uh, they are they, they, you can consider this to be a personal assistant kind of things right uh, key responsibilities what are all the responsibilities that you have to uh, take care of first of all designing mechanical frameworks that is the main part so you have to design it second is developing the software to control the robot that is as i said it is the main part is designing the robot as well as uh, writing the programming code that will uh, help the robot to operate okay that's why ai is very very helpful uh, for uh, this second part next is in uh, integrating sensors and uh, accurators so for example uh, uh, india sent miss missions to the uh, chandrayaan mission right so there uh, the chandrayaan lander landed on the moon and he it did some measurement right so those measurements are done by some instruments right so those instruments are also part of robotics next is testing and troubleshooting the prototype so when you are uh, suppose you are uh, trying to send some device into moon or in to mars or in any other planet okay so first before sending that whether it will work there or not you have to do the testing so the testing stage generally happens with prototypes prototypes means it is not actually the final version but before the final version it has to be tested regularly and whatever flaws whatever um, 
defects you might find during this process you have to rectify that that is also part of your job now researching new AI ML methods for smart robots so smart robots are also getting very very popular nowadays so you have to research on that uh, and find a way to make them smarter do the, do the work that humans uh, take a lot of time to do right that is the major thing that you have to do now real world impact of uh, uh, robotics not triple A, sorry about that. What is the real world impact? Real world impact is robotics is shaping the future of work, transportation, healthcare, and space exploration. With the rise of AI, 5G, and Internet of Things, robots are becoming more autonomous and intelligent. The field offers great opportunities for innovation and impact. So, if you are someone who like to imagine things, who, who is basically trying to uh, realize that, okay, I can do that. Uh, if you have that kind of attitude, then definitely you should think about robotics. Next core subjects and curriculum, it has a lot of uh, different subjects. Let's see uh, mathematics in mathematics, mainly linear algebra, calculus and probability uh, physics. Uh, the physics is also part of the core subject here. Mechanics, dynamics, kinematics, they are all part of your curriculum because you have to know how robots function. So these are the very, very important concepts. Next is mechanical design. You need to learn about mechanical designs, uh, CAD, fluid mechanics and materials etc are very very important next is electronics obviously circuit design microcontrollers embedded systems these are the uh, important but most of the part, uh, parts you actually don't know circuit design you, you have done it little bit okay microcontrollers those may be in computer science may have done it now I'm not sure uh, embedded system obviously you have not done it but you may have heard about the embedded systems next is control systems okay PID controllers automation theory etc is very very important next is programming obviously one type of programming language you must know C C++ Python ROS okay uh, ROS is robot operating system so these are the major major curriculum for your uh, robotics uh, engineering course also artificial intelligence and machine learning now this is a very very large branch so it will be discussed in a separate video you can check that out uh, i think aishwarya ma'am is doing a video on aiml so you can go and check that out also now uh, computer vision and image processing is also part of the robotics engineering course uh, mechatronics the another important part the blend mechanics electronics and software is called mechatronics which is uh, similar to that uh, you may have heard megatron etc so mechatronics is basically something where you blend mechanics with electronics now what are the opportunities what is the career opportunity main part you want to know about okay i have completed the course what should i do now so career opportunities there are a lot of career opportunities manufacturing okay assembly lines welding packaging etc uh, as I said, uh, healthcare, surgical robots, rehab devices, these are getting very, very popular. In agricultural uh, sector, automated harvesters, drones, etc. So, nowadays uh, in many countries, not uh, exclusively in India, but many other countries, they use uh, robots for their harvesting as well as uh, uh, sprinkling uh, pesticides on, in the ground, etc. So, those are done by robots. Humans are uh, hardly involved there. Now, military and defense, so if you are aware of India-Pakistan uh, conflict recently, lot of drones were used, okay? So, you may have heard kamikaze drones, okay? Self-destructing drones. So, those are also kind of robots. They work on particular uh, AI, okay? So, AI is already embedded in it. They identify the target and they go and hit that, right? So, these are also part of your uh, uh, job profile. Bomb disposals, so bomb disposals also happen through uh, robots that is also very very important space exploration obviously this is the one of the oldest uh, robotics uh, application Mar mars rovers satellite uh, repair bots service industry cleaning robots customer uh, service robots etc are part of your career opportunities right <coughs> 
नेक्स्ट इज इज रोबोट्स राइट इट इज रोबोटिक्स राइट फॉर यू और नॉट सो यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल इफ रोबोटिक्स इज राइट फॉर यू और नॉट यू आर क्यूरियस अबाउट हाउ थिंग्स मूव एंड थिंक सो इफ यू थिंक दैट हाउ पीपल आर मूविंग हाउ देयर इज अ न्यू रोबोट इफ यू आर फॉलोइंग आई पी एल ओके देर नेम दैट रोबोट चंपक सो दैट इज ऑल्सो वर्किंग डूइंग द राउंड ऑन द ग्राउंड सो हाउ इट इज हैपनिंग सो इफ यू आर समन हु इज क्यूरियस about such things then definitely you should consider robotics you like a mix disciplines you are not confined to okay i am very good at computers i only want to focus only on computers or i am very good at mathematics i will focus on programming only so if you are not like that if you like multiple subjects uh, uh, then it it can be a discipline for you now as i said robotics is not super easy it will be difficult because you have to learn a lot of subjects simultaneously and apply them you are patient and persistent so if you are someone who is not fickle minded if you are not changing your mind every other day today you are thinking i will study ai ml tomorrow you are thinking i will study robotics then you are saying no i will study only normal computer science so if you are someone like that then robotics is not for you but if you are persistent okay uh, i have decided that i will study uh, this stream and i am stick to it I, and with rank or whatever it is not changing then definitely you should you should consider robotics okay you enjoy uh, solving real world problems so real world problem means uh, for example if you are designing a robot which can uh, clean your house okay this is already there uh, vacuum robots so if you are uh, uh, willing to design something okay initially vacuum cleaners were there now vacuum robots are uh, changing the shape of our life right it is cleaning the entire floor of our houses uh, in some Uh, hours within some hours so, okay right so if you are someone who can solve such kind of problems okay how the shape should be so the, they have de designed the uh, uh, household cleaning robots as circular ones right so if you are someone who can someone design that right someone thought okay circular robots should be better not the square ones so someone design that so if you are someone who can do that then definitely you should consider to become a uh, robotics engineer you like building and tinkering if you are some one who always like to build something tinker with it okay change it but again fix it uh, like if you have remember there is a movie called three idiots the the hero of that movie was like to build things right so if you are someone like that then definitely you should consider robotics now what are the job roles you will get so obviously first is robotics engineer next is automation engineer that is also uh, uh, part of the robotics next is mechatronics engineer this is the most popular nowadays mechatronics engineer they have lot of different scopes next is ai ml engineer robotics applications this is also part of your job role next is embedded system engineer this is also robotics uh, under the robotics engineer um, uh, profile next is control system engineer okay so how to control things uh, now some of them are can be overlapping with some of the other uh, uh, courses but this is also part of robotics now let's see one of the application uh, that posted in linkedin so you can see that robotics engineer is required by chevron uh, and uh, they are hiring for bangalore canada ka india already 69 uh, people have already applied there right so the, uh, his, this is the job profile okay what you have to do the robotics engineer is part of materials equipment and quality team with chevron's engine team and will be part of chevron's broader robotics program robotics systems are playing a transformation role on oil gas chemical and other process industry chevron is a leader on this effort with technical center lead robotics program with a specific goal to reduce cost reduce risk workforce as well as maintain the competitive advantage among the among our peers so you can see that this is the all, everything that we have discussed in our uh, uh, lecture so far right so everything to reduce the uh, human dependency to reduce the risk involved that is the major part of a robotics engineer job profile now let's see uh, some of the placements that has happened in different different colleges so uh, new horizon college of engineering reported a 70% placement rate with the average package of 10 lpa and highest package of 32.7 lpa uh, now this is another institute offers good placement record with the highest salary package now here the problem is uh, not every colleges offer robotics also um, the direct data only for robotics department is not available so we have taken the overall uh, 
packages and overall uh, placement that is available in their uh, respective colleges. Now let's see. Tech giants like Google and Amazon robotics companies like Boston Dynamics and iRobot and companies involved in AI and robotics development like Shield AI and uh, Symbiotic, they actually hire robotics engineer directly. Next is top colleges. Let's see some of the colleges. Dhanan Sagar Engineering College. It is the top college of robotics. Okay. Now, as I said, not all colleges uh, offer robotics. Uh, for example, RV does not offer robotics. Okay. So, Dhanan Sagar is the highest uh, 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 co college having highest uh, ranking. That is 14,439. Uh, Bangalore Institute of Technology. 19,000, Sarem Visveswaraya Institute of Technology, 34,000, KLE Technological University, Hubli, 38,000, and JSS Academy of Technology and Education, their cutoff was 56,000. So, even if your rank is little bit in the higher side, you can still uh, get a, a seat in the top uh, colleges offering robotics. Next is what expect challenges and rewards. So, this is very, very important. So, first of all, what are the challenges? Rapid technological advancements. Next, complex problem solving. These are the challenges. Next is multidisciplinary subjects. So, as I said, uh, robotics involves a lot of different subjects. Next is competitive job market. Job market is competitive. Okay, not uh, uh, super easy to get a job, but uh, definitely uh, if you get a job, that will be very, very good. Next is rewards. What are the rewards? Good earning potential. As I said, if you get a job, you will get a very good uh, earning potential. Okay, diverse career paths. You can choose a lot of different things. We have already seen uh, what are all the uh, uh, jobs that you can get uh, get if you uh, complete your robotics engineering course. Next is global opportunities. It is not limited only to India. You can go outside India and travel across uh, for this uh, job. Now. Real world success stories, obviously, Tony Stark, we all know. Oh, he is a comic <laughs> character. Oh, he is, you have seen him in Infinity War, right? So, he was one of the pioneers. No? All fictions. Okay, let's see two of the real world persons who actually did something on robotics. You can go and check them out on uh, uh, internet. Joseph Frederick Edinburgh. Uh, he is the person and George Charles Rival. I will not uh, talk much about them. They are one of the pioneers in robotics. Uh, first of the robotics, two of the first robotics engineers that we have seen. Okay, so you can go and check them out if you are interested in robotics, right? With this, I would like to end this discussion. And if you liked our video, don't forget to uh, comment uh, below and obviously subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed. I'll be back with more such informative videos very soon. Till then, bye.